how to combine actions with the warp feature in Photoshop. To warp the layer, you must first unlock it. Go to the Layers panel and click the Padlock. Go to the Window menu and display Actions and Layers. Go to the Actions panel, right side menu to come out of button mode. Go to the bottom of the panel and click the little plus. Give the new action a name. It is now recording. Go to the Edit menu, Transform and Warp. Right click the layer. Select one of the split options. Please check out our earlier videos about the new features of Photoshop's Warp. You can also find the same split options in the layer menu and along the top bar. Select the warp points or lines and drag to warp. You can warp the design in all kinds of ways. The record is on so all of the changes will be recorded. Sadly, there's no transform repeat command for the warp. You can overlap the points. You can also drag the points outside of the current layer. I wouldn't worry too much about the end result. I'm going to apply it to a totally different image. Click the stop button. It has now been saved to the actions panel with the name that you gave it. Go to the top of the panel, right side menu and go back to button mode. You can now see the button in the panel. As mentioned, I'm not going to use this image. I'm going to go to another document now. Of course, you can always save the work if you wish. The new image has got an unlocked layer, created using gradients. It could be images, text, etc. Go to Layer menu and Duplicate Layer, or use Alt Option and drag. Slightly resize it. You could do the Convert to Smart Object before the resize, up to you. Go to Layer menu, Smart Objects and Convert to Smart Object. It is now a smart object. You could add effects, etc. I'm going to duplicate that smart object. So hold down the Alt or Option key and drag. Repeat this a few times. I'm also going to resize and rotate the duplicated smart objects. You could create many, many layers. I'm just going to create a few. Rotate and resize by using the bounding box or via the edit menu. I'm going to leave the bottom layer totally untouched. It's not a smart object either. I'm only going to apply the warp to the smart objects. You can only add one warp to one smart object. Go to the layers panel and go to the various layers you've created, the smart objects. For each of them in turn, go to the actions panel and click the created warp action. You'll notice I have a few from earlier tutorials. If you click the warp button over and over, it makes no difference. The warp can only be applied once to the smart object. A workaround that limitation, turn it into a new smart object. I'm not going to do that. You can duplicate any of the smart objects with the warp attached. With the smart object selected, go to the edit menu and transform and warp. You can then see the warp structure, all the points and lines. You can move the points. You can add new lines and points. You can drag the lines and points to create all kinds of new warp designs. I wouldn't stretch it too far. If you distort it too much, the end result may not be of the best quality. The end result also depends on the quality of the source. Once you're happy with your distortion, press return. You can repeat this with all of the other objects. You can also duplicate the smart object again. Hold down the Alt or Option key and drag. With the new object, go to the Edit menu and Transform and Warp. Modify the points and lines. Click OK. The warp design can be rotated, scaled, squeezed and much, much more. Select a smart object. Go to the Edit menu, Transform and Warp. You can then fill the entire image with your warped designs. You can, of course, change the gradient if you wish. The underlying image. Go to the Layers panel, go to the Smart Objects thumbnail, any of them. Then you can edit the gradient, perhaps change the colours, perhaps warp it within that document. Once you're happy with that, close the document and save it. You will then see all the Smart Objects updated. You can then create unique designs and modify them at any point. You can also convert the entire set of Smart Objects into a new Smart Object. Go to the Layers panel, select all of the Smart Objects. Go to the Layer menu and Smart Objects and Convert to Smart Object. 
With all the smart objects as one smart object, you can now apply a warp to that. You can go to the Edit menu, Transform and Warp. That will create a totally new warp, but instead you can use the Actions panel. Why create a new warp when you've got one already? So go to the Actions panel and click the Warp button. You can also duplicate that smart object with the warp. Hold down the Alt or Option key and drag, and now you have a new duplicated smart object with a warp attached. You can also apply a transform to that, or add filter effects, or go to the Image menu and Adjustments. Once you're happy with your image, go to the Layer menu and Flatten Image. If you wish, go to the Filter menu and Stylize and Oil Paint. Set the stylization and cleanliness to quite high. Click OK. Repeat a number of times. Go to the Image menu and Adjustments. I'm going to use Levels, but you can use any of the other adjustments. The final result, a lovely warped, distorted, surreal image. Save it to your CC library. I hope you'll find this tutorial about the warp and actions of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Photoshop as well as Illustrator and other applications. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two, a dislike or like. Thank you very much.